Hello everyone. In the second part of uh, the video today in solving the <clears throat> uh, final exam sample, I will try to open the uh, architectural doors and windows. And simply I'm going to trace all the windows having the benefit of having the text here to say how much, uh, you know, how much is the window height? So it's 1400 and 800 for the cell. I will copy this. Uh, I'll copy this box and if you remember as per the question and that I show you in the previous video uh, that the third question is is requiring us to use the uh, to use the pro boolean as a command to create the architectural opening as a doors and windows and then in the second part of the question the required is to just throw a box uh, a very basic box to close uh, the gap and then we use that later to add any glass material uh, if you are interested of course to make the detailed doors then there is or windows there is a command in the 3d studio max to do this job it's out of the cover of this uh, basic course so i'm just going to show you how to open those windows as an opening and same the door and then just put a box instead i'll write block quickly so i'm going to select those uh, boxes that represent the window let's not forget it's uh, 800 cell and uh, 1400 the uh, height of the window now in the 3g studio max that's our file just file import and import again and i bet we need to go to the same location we save the work and then we go to the final uh, exam sample video and that's my file and hit ok and we're gonna see uh, these are the windows so I'm gonna just select them the opening uh, geometries so I'm gonna go here at hundred and I'm gonna extrude them uh, fourteen hundred 1400 and make sure not to do the boolean unless you have done the applying of the material because they're gonna get you know the edges are black or without or with the default material not working it's better to uh, you know uh, it's better to the you know the accuracy of the material is just to add the same material and then do the subtraction anyway now uh, for the door same technique sending the door by himself and the height is 2200 and that's the door wherever it is it should be sitting at zero again for the door because that's the level of the ground floor and there is might be a gap here if there is differences in uh, between the ground floor level and the external walkway again 2200 and in the material uh, just click outside and add the material okay so these are the uh, boxes that represent or later on will be cut out of the doors and uh, sorry from the walls to make the doors and windows uh, I do believe those uh, the window here if I just copy them they are just aligned perfectly with whatever available in the first floor and that's true so just make those boxes and bring them with a the reference point from this point to this point same technique we did with the uh, with the roof sorry with the door uh, so that's done uh, I do believe that the door is the is the same let me just double check if it's it's looked like the same right so yeah so I'm not gonna do this I'm just gonna take those two things because they located the same place and it's just raise them 5,000 the only one is different is the door so I'm gonna move the door from this point all the way using the same reference point which is the lower right corner we are, so that's the door so I send that you can use again 3d snapping to do this 
if you don't like to move whatever existed in the first floor to the same level location of the first floor if you don't like that uh, but I don't encourage this method anyway now you cannot see it so probably you need to hit an F3 uh, to find to switch the wireframe mode this dude should be sitting on a level of a 5000 mil which is the level of the first floor as you can see here and the windows will be again 800 above the 5000 so that's easy all right so i'm going to extrude i'm just going to take this guy as a copy and select this dude here and then right to click paste yeah i know we have to send the material for it right block let's finish the the windows once and for all okay and that's it i'm just gonna push that to 5800 and then i'm gonna copy the extrude for the lower level window as they are the same just select that paste now hit back to get to the shaded mode and you're gonna see they are right on the wrong uh you know uh, on the material so you have to make them uh, the same material that's what i prefer and by doing that we're almost done and the last step for this video is to make the pro boolean make sure to add one pro boolean guys is this is will not be accepted in the exam so pro boolean one only one is enough so if i have the ground floor it's an entire different object from this the first floor so just pro boolean one pro boolean for this ground floor start picking and you're going to take the thing here and if you accidentally didn't pick the second one it's all good you know just select the ground floor which will have one pro boolean only one for each object start picking again and take the windows and that will make the opening here as you can see and now turn that off and go to the first floor oops undo just turn that off and okay select this guy and go pro boolean again start picking and get the window out of the way and the object and this will have half of the grade of the question three which is technically you know how you cut out the doors and the window opening and as you can see that was perfectly done now i think i forgot to do something which is the doors and windows uh, you know it's just a simple representation that they are existed so i'm got, just gonna make uh, a box i'm not gonna do that in this video you, i'll show you how to do one and then you can do the rest just a simple box to close the gap so go here file and import okay and here we go this guy here which is just giving me all the hard time possible in selecting it yep now it's selected and add an extra to it uh okay that's for the window let's make it 2200 so later on we will add different material for it okay and that's just uh you know just a reset a reset back and then we can add even a picture of a door if you want to be added in here okay and the same thing have to be done in this one and for all the windows and i will leave that for you as they are just following the same steps you know that we did in a couple of seconds thank you very much for watching and have a good day